Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a Q&A video. And yeah, let's see what you guys wanted to know about me. I have a feeling that this is going to be a long one. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's hop into it. Okay, so I've been asking you guys to ask me anything that you wanted to know. I'm very open. You can ask me anything you wanted. And uh, I've picked some a lot of questions that are not fragrance related because I want you guys to know me, who I am. Okay, so question number one is who is Curly Fragrance name and age? Well, my name is Michella and I'm 27 years old. How tall am I? I am one meter. 68 to some people online i have said that i'm 170 yeah but my hair is big you know so maybe sometimes it's 170 and do i have any brothers and sisters no i'm the only crazy person uh, that my parents have made from which country are you from i'm from holland what do you do for a living well, i'm a personal trainer <laughs> your favorite hobby besides fragrances this is playing playstation i really love gaming a lot last one that i've played was uh, the last of us part two the best game for me because it plays a lot with your emotions and uh yeah i like that i like that stuff it's my favorite movie what's my favorite movie something romantic like the titanic or something like that Oh, you know what? You know what I also really like to watch? It was uh, The Fast and the Furious. I have seen that movie, I don't know, more than a hundred times. So The Fast and the Furious 1, that's a movie that I really like. Can you reach your tip of your nose with your tongue? Provide poof, proof. Oh no, not the tip, because the tip, look at my, look at my pointy nose. It's like, it's, it's all out there. It's like, then I really need to have a long tongue. But I do have a long tongue. It's like... It's like that. But I could reach my nose. Besides smell, what's the first thing you notice in a guy? And do you date Latinos? <laughs> I think Latino people are... Yeah, they're really attractive. They're exotic. I like... Uh, I do like exotic people. Very attractive to me. Uh, but what's the first thing I notice in the guy? How tall they are, I always want them to be taller than me. It doesn't have to be really tall, but I want you to be taller than me. And how, how you've built, like, do you work out? Do you do fitness? You know, it's very important that you take care of yourself and with your body. I mean, it's the only body that we have and it's our health. So, but I do like uh, muscled guys. Yes. Honestly, what kind of men turns you on, gentlemen? A guy that is really a gentleman, is nice for a girl, treats her well, doesn't brag about what he got or like, like what kind of house he has, what kind of car he has. Mm. I really don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit about all of that. I, I want you to treat me really good for the person that I am. And that, that, is, that is what turns me on. That is what I think is really attractive in a, in a guy. I don't like the the fuck boys and the, the bad guys. I mean, they're they're nice to look at, but I prefer a gentleman. Tell us the story behind your tattoos. This question really came up a lot. So this is the first one. This is a uh, river flows in you. I got it for my uh, grandma who isn't here anymore. She already died like when I was two, but I've heard great great stories about her and um yeah i felt i felt some kind of a connection to her so the tattoo is river flows in you and it is a very slow piano music yeah and when that piano music played i i thought of her so i was like oh why not put that piano music on my arm then i got charlie hunnam in sons of anarchy and why did i got it yeah because i just like the picture and he's hot so that's really the main reason why i got it i need something to stand on you don't want to take the camera out of the holder because i i don't like that all right so then we got madonna naked because yeah i don't know why not i like madonna she looks good when she's naked and especially in that time right oh also this one i got uh doesn't really have a meaning 
I just, I just liked it. I was 18 and I wanted a big tattoo that didn't show really. Then we got this one. Well, this is Angelina Jolie in the movie Wanted. I really like the gun on my arm. Yeah, I also got one in my neck. So it is a bull because that's my zodiac sign. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a Taurus, so that's why I wanted it. And I also got one of my uh, on on my leg, but I will take a picture of that and show it right here. That's the last one that I got. That one really, really hurt really hurt it took nine hours in one go all my tattoos i do in one go actually so this one took 10 hours nine hours eight hours and then nine hours on the leg i thought it wouldn't hurt so much because i had you know my whole arm so i was like hey let's do also my whole leg Woo. that one hurt it the most so if you want something on your leg think about it twice what's my favorite band from holland I don't have a band that i really like but, but I do like Anouk. Anouk is a, is a very beautiful woman here in the Netherlands and she can sing very, very good. The two songs that you need to listen to is Nobody's Wife and Lost. I will put them right here or a link down below. You really have to listen to those two songs. It's awesome. And I think also those two songs will mean something to a lot of people. What do you think of Jeremy Fragrance? Did you meet, meet him? Did you meet him before? Um, what do I think of Jeremy Fragrance? Well, he got me into this. He really started my addiction for fragrances and collecting them. So thank you, Jeremy, for that. I really liked him the first four years on YouTube or the first three years. I still liked him like one or two years, two years ago. But now, uh, yeah, I don't like to watch him anymore uh, that much. He changed. He changed a lot in the, in the last two years. And I really preferred him as the guy that... Uh, that he once was before. So what do I think of him? I like him. I still watch his old videos, but I hardly watch the new ones because, uh, yeah, I have no words for that. <laughs> right, this is also a question that I get a lot of times. Like, would you make a video without doing your makeup and hair? And like, no, <laughs> why would I do that? I, I I don't even walk outside of my house like that. So I would never put myself on the internet. Like you've just rolled out of your bed and you don't look that good. This is me. This is Michelle. When my hair is done, when my makeup is done. And I don't even wear a lot of makeup actually. So the things that I do is I wear lipstick. I wear eyeliner and I wear mascara. And my eyebrows are tattooed. Okay, so here you are and I like... I don't wear foundation. If I wear foundation, my my just skin, it, it's just, it breaks out. I get a lot of acne from it. So, um, but the things that I do for my face, I will show you. Okay, so these are the product that I use for my face. So we begin with what I wash it with. Here you go, this is lactoseed. <laughs> you should wash your vagina with it, but don't do that. Don't wash your vagina, ladies, with it because then your vagina is going to stink. But I've had the thought that if you can wash your vagina with it, then it wouldn't harm your face because there's no, yeah, there's no alcohol in it. And everything that could be sensitive for your skin. I mean, like women use it down there, you know? <laughs> so I was like, hey, why not use it for my face? Because there's actually nothing harmful in it. Yeah, that's what I use for my face. Vagina soap. Don't use it on vagina, just do it with water. It's good that way. My day cream that I just use, I, I have it on right now. It is a, uh, I have no idea what it is, but it works. <laughs> to drink water and e eat healthy and work out and then your skin will just be fine. I mean, I do break out sometimes when I have, have the period of the month again. But makes me have a nice color on my face is this. It is a bronzer from L'Oreal. Garnier so this this is like a cream I just use it on my face and my body that's why I'm brown because look you can't do your hands because your hands will turn out yellow I have it a little bit on the inside so those are the things that I use for my face so people who always say like oh you wear too much makeup I don't I hardly wear makeup <sighs> so stop with the question all right this is a fun question who would win in the fight you or curly sets <laughs> Me, I would win because I have done kickboxing. 
Kickboxing is a very big thing here in the Netherlands. It's football or kickbox. Also, if you look at really good kickboxers, they mostly they mostly come from the Netherlands. So uh, yeah, I've done kickboxing already from when I was young and then went on on and off. Uh, and also I've always done training and fitness. So I know that I'm very strong because I see and train men that I work with and I see them training when I'm in the gym. I almost do the same weights as they do. And when I did kickboxing back in the day, uh, they didn't let me fight with the girls because I punched them too hard, even though I did it very soft. They always put me against men because I beat the girls. But uh, I would never, never punch such a beautiful girl as uh, Curly Sense. Wouldn't do it. W wouldn't like to mess up her face. She's my friend. I really like that woman. <laughs> this one is crazy. If you and your rugby team crash landed in the Andes Mountains and in order to survive, you had to eat the people who died in the crash. Would you? Of course. Of course, I love my life. I hope uh, people will find me and that I that I can escape that situation. But uh, yeah, I hope that people will die with a nice nice set of biceps on their arms so that I can have a nice nice beefy meal. Of course I would eat them. A little bit weird that I didn't have to think about it, but yeah, that's how crazy I am. What is your ideal first date? I'm very simple. I like to date like the whole day. I don't know why and I always do that actually. Um, I like to just go in the city walk around with the person, um, eat like a burger at McDonald's because when I go out, I want to eat something that's really bad and I like it and I really like McDonald's. So I'm very easy. So just go to McDonald's with me, <laughs> uh, have a burger and then go, go to the cinemas. I always like to watch a movie with the person. And then after the movies, you, then I want to go out and take a drink or when we're hungry again, then go to a nice restaurant. So when you don't have a good connection or you're kind of shy in, at first, you can talk about the movie. Hey, what you thought about the movie? What's another good movie that you've, that you've seen? Because I can talk a lot, but when I meet a person, I can also be very shy. Can I? No, not that much. But sometimes you don't have a connection and you don't click so well. So then, I, yeah, I always like to go to the cinemas and then you can talk about that. And then most of the times the talk will continue with other stuff. So that's my first first ideal date. Not, not like a very, very romantic person. Just normal. What is your body count? Well, that, that's a funny one because I... I <laughs> I tried to find it, what it meant, and then it, it, what I got on my phone was like dead people and people you've killed. And I was like, what? If I would kill people, why would I say it on YouTube? You know, like I wanted to be like, stay as a secret. But it means like with how many people you've had sex with. Well, not that many, actually. I pick, uh, I like to choose quality over quantity and i'm not really a girl that likes to fool around with a lot of people i've had sex with five people so i think it's kind of okay not that many i like to have that build up with a person that that you date with a person and i don't like to right away sleep with a person because i don't know what their intentions are and yeah i don't know if like i'm most of the times guys really wanted me because i'm a trophy like hey i fucked michelle <laughs> like no i'm not gonna give you that <laughs> and i wanted the person to be real with me and honest and that i can trust you because i think people are just sleeping too much with each other right now in this world they're just so yeah, easy It's not what I want to say. Like if you enjoy it, the both of you, it's fine. You can enjoy it, both of you. But I don't enjoy it with a person if I don't know you, if I don't trust you. I can't, I can't give myself. I'm actually very hard to get in bed. I mean, like there are two things like talking about sex and doing it. I'm very open. I'm a very open girl. I can talk about sex. I can make jokes about sex. Really, but I'm not easy to get in bed because, yeah, just as I said, I like to have that build up. Like you really like a person, you get to know each other. And then like after a month or two months, or I've let, you know, sometimes it even happened after three months. And then 
then when you have sex with the person it's like one big of explosion because you you both waited for that moment and you're loving it and you really like each other and you care about each other and that sex that sex means more to me than than a one night stand that sex is is like so much better so much better why i don't sleep around and fuck around with people because that's that's just not a person who i am i am uh yeah, I'm also shy with my body, naked and stuff like that. Ugh, I don't wanna... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Just know. <laughs> I need to know you first. So my body count is very low and I like to, uh, to keep it very low, actually. Okay, this was also a question that came up a lot. Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you married? I am single. And I will never get married because I don't believe in marriage. I believe in love. Uh, I just don't believe in marriage and I believe in being monogamous. I don't know that word, I will put it down here. But um, I'm a girl that I don't want to get married. I don't want to have children. I want to live my life and enjoy my life the fullest. And I can't do that with children. I'm not a mother. I'm just not a mother. Uh, and a lot of people would be like, oh, you will have children later. No, no, I won't. I don't like children and I will never get them. I'm like a big child myself and I will always be a big, big child myself. This one also came a lot. Like, um, do you date men or women? Have you experimented with women? Are you a lesbian? If not, do you have a boyfriend? Are you bi or a lesbian? Uh, what's your sexual orientation and what's your view on religion? Bisexual, lesbian, do you have a boyfriend, married, boyfriend, sexual, la, 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 la. all that, man, guys. So yeah, what's my sexual orientation? Well, I am bisexual. I like men and women equally. Um, so have I experienced, <laughs> have I experimented with with uh, women yes i've had relationships with women and also with men so that's out there i'm bisexual so i can also help you guys really good with fragrances what girls like because i know and what's my view on religion i don't really believe that much i do believe that there is a god but i don't do much with it I believe that you just need to be good for people and that's what I get with with my job also I make people happy with their bodies and help them being more confident that's that's a thing that I that I want to do make people happy make people laugh just be good to people just be good to to one another help each other that that's that's what I believe in be nice to each other be nice to animals um, that's what I do believe in and and also God but I don't go to church and stuff like that I I think God wants me to be nice to people and don't be mean so that's what I'm trying to do but yes guys I'm gonna quit right here because pff, there were a lot of questions I hope that I've answered a lot of questions so the thing that I want to do is maybe once every 10k that I'm gonna do a uh, Q&A video again so if you want to know more about me, if you liked it, do a thumbs up for me and yeah, comment down below what you want to know more about me. So then I can do that in the next Q&A. All right, guys, hope you liked it. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.